Hello learners, welcome to all in a study online. Learners, success is a thing that inspires almost everyone in this world. And if we are focused towards our goal, there is nothing that can stop us to achieve that, whether it is a physical, mental or an emotional barrier. And we all are ambitious by nature most everyone so in today's video i'm going to teach you a chapter that is based on the story of such a girl who in spite her in spite of her physical disabilities achieves her goal and became an inspiration for we all so without further delay let me discuss the chapter the sound of the music part one written by deborah Cowley. So, what is the title of the part one? Evelyn Glani listens to sound without hearing it. So, learners, you can see that the title of the story is in itself very interesting. Now, let us discuss the title. The title itself is very interesting. Here, the author says Evelyn Glani listens to sound without hearing it. Now, we all wonder. We are confused. How can... We, how can you listen to sound when you can't hear? So this is something we will discover in this chapter. That is how Evelyn Glani was, uh, was able to listen to sound although she could not hear. Now before we proceed with the chapter, let's discuss. God may have taken her hearing but has given her back something extraordinary. What we hear she feels far more deeply than any of us. That is why she expresses music so beautifully. Let me explain what does it mean. Someone has commented this about Evelyn Glani, and that person has written that although God took away her hearing power, she was impaired, but he gave, he means God gave, her an extraordinary thing and that was the sense of feeling yes learners the sense of feeling in Evelyn Glenning was very strong she could feel very deeply for more deeply than the normal people and that is why she was able to express music so beautifully so well she is a well-known multi percussionist she plays music percussion instruments like xylophone drums now let's read the following account of a person who fought against a physical disability and made her life a success story and a motivation for all of us so now proceed towards the text from here we come to know that the theme of the story and the masses we get from the story the story of Evelyn Glani is a motivational story for all of us and it inspires all of us to overcome our physical disabilities and achieve our dreams and goals just like Evelyn did. So let's start. Rush our crowds jostle for position on the underground train platform. A slight girl looking younger than her 17 years, she was nervous, nervous yet excited as she felt the vibration of the approaching train so without before i can explain the text let me tell you the meaning of difficult words so learners what does the word mean uh, jostle the word jostle means push roughly Puss roughly. And the word slight means small, slight. Slight means learners, small. And thin. And thin. Okay, 
Now let me explain this paragraph. The scene is of the platform, train platform. It is underground and there is a huge rush at the platform. People are rushing each other to get way. There is a small thin girl. It is Evelyn. The name of the girl is Evelyn. Evelyn is standing at the railway platform waiting for the train. And just as she feels the vibration of the approaching, approaching means coming train, she realizes that the train is about to come. Now, how does it happen? She gets nervous and excited. When she hears the coming train, how does she feel? How uh, She felt nervous and excited. So now let me explain that why did she feel nervous and excited at the same time? Learners, this is the train that will take Evelyn to London. She is going to London to learn music as she has got admission in Royal Academy of Music. Right now, Evelyn is in Scotland. Now tell me something about Scotland. Evelyn belongs to Scotland and Scotland is a country in Europe. Life in Scotland is not as fast as in London. London has a very fast life. It is urban, whereas Scotland has farms and countryside. So that, so that is why Evelyn is nervous because she is leaving Scotland, a, a small country, for London. And she is excited also at the same time because she is doing something that she has always dreamed of. She is going to the Royal Academy of Music to learn music. Now, move toward the further text. It was her first day at the prestigious Royal Academy of Music in London and daunting enough for any teenager fresh from a Scottish form. Now, let me explain the meaning of difficult word. Daunting. So, learner. Daunting means daunting means frightening, scary. You can say scary. And the meaning, you know, teenager means the person who is from his 13 to 19. This is called teenager. So, Evelyn is a 17 years. Say, Evelyn is of 17 years, and she is a teenager, and she is fresh from a Scotland's a Scottish form. She is from a countryside. Uh, uh, she is a countryside girl and she is going to such a busy and fast uh, city that is London. And as Evelyn is from Scotland which has more of farms and countryside so she has not seen fast life. That is why she is nervous and the writer says that she is fresh from a Scottish form. Now move toward the further text. But this Aspiring musician faced a bigger challenge that most see was profoundly deep. Now, what is the meaning of the word? Aspiring musician. Aspiring musician means a person who wants to be musician. Aspiring means a person who wants to be musician okay profoundly means completely the word profoundly means completely let's proceed learner okay so Evelyn could not hear and this was a bigger challenge for her Moving from a rural area to a fast life was a smaller challenge. Evelyn faced a much bigger challenge and that was her inability to hear. She was not able to hear. It means she was deaf. Learners. Evelyn Glennie's loss of hearing had been gradual. Now let me tell you that Evelyn was not deep since, his, since her birth. It was a gradual process when she became deep. 
Slowly, slowly, she started losing the power of hearing, and one day, she was absolutely deaf. So now, let me tell you that, as I told you, that she became deaf gradually, and her mother remembers, um, noticing that, uh, that she became. Uh, how did she? Her mother noticed that when she became uh, deaf. Let me read. Her mother remembers. noticing something was wrong when the 8 year old evelyn was waiting to play the piano they called her name and she didn't move i suddenly realized she hadn't heard says isabel glani now let me explain this paragraph isabel isabel glani is the name of evelyn's mother evelyn's mother isabel recollects one incident when evelyn was 8 years old she says that evelyn was waiting for her turn to play the piano but when her name was called out she did not respond and her mother realized at once that evelyn did not respond to her name that means she did not hear her name being called out next for quite while evelyn managed to conceal her growing deafness from friends and teacher conceal means you know hide so as evelyn lost her sense of hearing in phases in phases means she uh, lost her hearing uh, ability slowly gradually so it was a gradual process so what she did in the beginning when she could hear partially she managed to hide this disabilities from her friends and teachers but by the time she was 11 her marks had detour- deteriorated her head mistress urged her parents to take her to a specialist now let me explain the meaning of the difficult word a specialist means you know a doctor is specializing in a particular part of the body and the word deteriorating means The word "deteriorated" means worsened. And the meaning of the word "urged" urged means requested. Okay, now let me explain. When Evelyn was eleven years old, her marks had started deteriorating. It started became 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 beginning more worse. So her 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 head mistress, it means her class teacher, requested her parents to take her to the doctor. when the doctor when the doctor checked up upon evelyn he found out that evelyn had lost the sense of hearing oh sorry it was then discovered that her hearing was severely impaired as a result of gradual nerve damage so when the doctor uh, checked her then only it was found that she had lost the sense of her hearing they were advised they ever advised that it means her parents were advised that she should be fitted with hearing aids and sent to a school for the deaf so what did the doctor advise their, uh, her parents the doctor advised evelyn's parents that they should get hearing aids for her hearing aids is an equipment that is fitted into your ears and it has a person to hear to some extent so this is what the doctor advised her parents he also suggested that evelyn should be sent to school for the deaf children everything suddenly looked black says evelyn and what did uh, what did evelyn says later in her interviews um, that at that time when the doctor said like that what everything when evelyn discovered that she could not hear and that she would be sent to a school for deaf children then 
she was not as good as normal children her parents became colorless it turned black now what does this mean everything suddenly looked black it means that all of a sudden you get such a bad news you get some news that you don't expect and in return you see blackness all around that is how evelyn responded to this news but evelyn was not going to give up this shows evelyn had determination although evelyn got such a shocking news still she was determined and she did not want to give up she was determined to lead a normal life and pursue her interest in reading pursue means to follow so as evelyn was passionate about read, read about music she as i told you that she was determined to lead a normal life and pursue her interest in music so she uh, she was determined to live a, a life like normal people and follow her interest in music so what she said is when uh, one day she noticed a girl playing a xylophone xylophone and decided that she wanted to play it too so what she did one day she, when she noticed a girl um, playing xylophone she decided to play that also most of the teacher discouraged her but per percussionist to ron forbes it was a it is an instrument and uh, that uh, that instrument teacher ron forbes spotted me saw her potential her capacity to do that so he only inspired her to do that and he began by turning two large drums to different notes so what happened uh, now one day when evelyn's teachers discouraged her all her teacher discouraged her because they knew that she could not hear and hearing was an important part of music but ron forbes saw that evelyn was very passionate about music and so he decided something what he decided ron forbes thought that he would teach evelyn to feel music what did he think he thought that he would teach evelyn to feel music learners yes he took two large drums and he t- he tuned them to different notes drums are musical instrument and he tuned them he tuned each drums to different notes so the sound produced by the drums was different so it was dis- dis- distinct both the drums made different sound then he told evelyn what did he say he would say try to sense it he said try to sense it in some other way he said that don't try to listen through your ears he said that try to sense it try to feel the music some other way says evelyn suddenly i realized i could feel the higher drum from the waist up and the lower one from the waist down the middle of your body is called the waist now as ron had tuned both the drums to different notes the upper part of evelyn's evelyn's body ever the waist could feel the higher notes of the drum and the lower part of her body the part down from the waist could feel the no- lower notes of music and forbes repeated the the exercise when she could feel and soon evelyn discovered that she could sense certain notes in different parts of her body this is how evelyn can listen to sound although she cannot hear she can sense different notes in different parts of her body i had dreamed to open my mind and body to sound and vibration the rest was sheer determin- determination and hard work ron forbes th- taught evelyn to respond to different sound different parts of bo- uh, of evelyn's body responded to different sounds and that is how she could identify the sounds and the different vibration now once she could identify the sounds and vibration the hurdle had been overcome and evelyn's career went upwards 
as she had determinations to become famous a good musician and she also did a lot of hard work she never looked back from that point on life once evelyn overcame the hurdle she started sensing the different sounds through the different parts of her body she progressed in her career so she took the U- united kingdom with a youth orchestra and by the time she was 16 she had decided to make music her life so she toured the united kingdom uh, what she did she toured the united kingdom and performed with a youth orchestra and by the time evelyn reached the age of 16 the time when she became 16 year old she had decided to make music her life as her profession she auditioned for the royal academy of music and scored one of the highest marks in the history of the academy so um audition means she gave a short performance so that the director could decide whether she was good enough to be the part of the royal academy of music or not so evelyn gave an audition for the admissions to the royal academy of music and her score was the highest in the history of the academy and uh, no other persons had scored such high marks as evelyn did see gradually move from orchestral work to solo performances so what she did initially evelyn performed in a group and as she got well in her music when she became very well in music then she got when she got confident she started performing alone at the end of her 3 years course she had captured most of the top onwards awards so when she had achieved all the top awards by the time she had cap- completed her 3 years course at the royal academy of music so during the 3 years of her course in royal academy of music she had achieved almost all top awards that is associated with music and all for this evelyn won't accept any hint of and all of this evelyn won't accept any hint of heroic achievements so evelyn says that if uh, that evelyn had done something great she does not acknowledge that she is very humble and down to earth so yet she achieved such a uh, big success in her life she never acknowledge never accept that she is um, as she is very humble and down to earth she says that if you work hard and know where you are going you will get there what uh, what does she believe she has to say that two important things for success are firstly hard work and secondly aim she says that if you work hard and you have an aim a target which you have to achieve then you will definitely achieve it and she got right to the top the world most sought after multi percussionist with a mastery of some thousands instrument so evelyn also achieved her goal she worked hard and she had an aim to become the top most the most famous the most sought after musician of the world and she did that she gained mastery of almost 1000 musical instrument and she is the most popular multi percussionist of the world she has a very busy schedule she has programs and concerts all over the world it is interviewing to watch evelyn's function so effortlessly without hearing and when you watch evelyn's works are performed so effortlessly although she cannot hear you get very curious because evelyn can identify the sight slightest the minutest the minutest sound made by the musical 
इंस्ट्रूमेंट इन आवर टू आवर डिस्कशन सी नेवर मिस्ड अ वर्ल्ड मेन विद बशी बियर्स गिव मी ट्रबल सी लॉब्ड नाउ द राइटर डेब्रो कॉवली टुक एवलिन इंटरव्यू विच लास्टेड फॉर टू आवर्स एंड डेब्रो सीज दैट एवलिन नेवर मिस्ड अ सिंगल वर्ड दैट सी स्पोक सी हैज टू से दैट those men who have long used bussy beards give her trouble why do they give her trouble because when they speak she cannot see their lips movement as their lips are covered with the bushy birds beards she lobbed it is she lobbed it is not just watching it is not just watching the leaves it's the whole face especially the eyes evelyn says that she does not only see the lips movement of the person's face to make out what the person is speaking she sees the whole face that means the entire expression of the face of the speaker makes evelyn identify of or know what the person is saying she adds the expression of the eyes helps evelyn make out what the person sitting in front of her is saying she speaks flawlessly with a scottish lilt my speech is clear because i could hear till i was 11 she says and what does she say the writer says that evelyn's speech is flawless and she has it means it has no error it has no flaw and she has a scottish accent as she belongs to scotland i told you earlier her voice has that accent and evelyn says that she can speak clearly because she had learned the language she studied uh, till uh, the age of 11 till the time she could hear but that doesn't explain how she managed to learn french and master basic basic japanese but after becoming deep evelyn also learned two new languages she has learned french and basic japanese so one wonders one can wonders that how could uh, how could she learn these two other languages also despite her deafness so as for music she explained it pours in through every part of my body it tingles in the skin my cheek bones and even in my hairs so as about music she says that how does she identify music it creates sensation in her skin in her cheek bones and even in her hair so every part of evelyn's body responds to music when she plays the xylophone she can sense the sound passing up the stick into her fingertips and when she plays the xylophone she uses a stick and she can sense the vibration of the sound produced by the xylophone pass through the sticks up into the finger tips by learning against the body on a wooden plat by learning against the drum she can feel the resonances flowing into her body on a wooden platform she removes her shoes so that the vibration passes through her bare feet and up her legs when evelyn plays the drums she leans leans means she bends towards the drum and she can feel the echo flowing into her body whenever evelyn performs she performs on a wooden platform and she removes her shoes so that she can feel the vibration of the musical instruments pass through the floor into her feet and up her legs that is how she can feel the music of the musical instrument not surprisingly evelyn delights her audiences in 1991 she was presented with the royal philharmonic society prestigious soloist soloist of the year award now evelyn is 
a delight to hear she gives very good solo performances and in the year 1991 she was presented with this award royal philharmonic society prestigious soloist of the year award for performing solo she is master percussionist james platt god may even take taken her hearing but he has given her back something extraordinary what we hear she feels far more deeply than any of us that is why she expresses music so beautifully so whose the statement was given in the earlier of the chapter in the in in the beginning of the chapter it was the statement given by james platt so what he has now james platt is a mar, master per, percussionist and his words were the ones that we read before we started reading the chapter according to james god took away evidence here hear, hearing ability but in return he gave her a strong power of sensing sound which enabled her to become a great musician evelyn confesses that she is something of a workholic i have just got to work often harder than classical musicians but the rewards are enormous now what does evelyn accept she says about this evelyn is very she, she has to say that she is very hard working and she does not stop working now to be at par with those people who can hear um, who are classical musician evelyn works very hard so in compared to the classical musician and in compared to the normal classical musician she has to work very hard and that she did she has to say this about her apart from the regular concert evelyn also give gives free concert in prisons and hospitals evelyn says that the rewards she gets for her hard work are huge and big and she has to also she has also says and she she has also uh, said that uh, charity uh, evelyn does charity also she gives free concert in hospitals and prisons what she do she also takes classes for young musician for those children who want to learn music and richling of the Beethoven Fund for Deaf Children says she is a signing inspiration for the deaf children. They see that there is nowhere that they cannot go. So Evelyn is an inspiration for all. She is a is she is an ideal and Richlin who belongs to a Beethoven Fund of Deaf Children says that Evelyn is an 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 inspiration for those children who cannot hear. And when they get to know Evelyn's story, they feel that they can also accomplish everything. They can fulfill all their dreams. Evelyn's granny has already accomplished more than most people twice her age. and Evelyn Glen Glenny has achieved so much in her life that those people who are double of her age have also not achieved those many things but much of popularity and those many awards Evelyn has done she has brought percussions to the front of the orchestra and demonstrated that it can be very moving orchestra is the group of people who are playing different musical instrument and generally the percussion instruments like the drums and the xylophones are placed at the back back end of the orchestra or they are placed in the side but evelyn performs solo she gives special performances with this per, uh, per, percussion instrument the percussion instruments have come in front of orchestra and the this uh, credit goes to evelyn she has given inspiration to those who are handicapped people who look to her and say if she can do it i can and not the least she has given enormous pleasures to millions of people so this is how
and this is how evelyn glaney the story is an inspiration to those people who are physically disabled they feel that if evelyn can achieve her dreams even they can also achieve and evelyn has given a lot of pleasures to their audience by playing such good music so learners this was the first part of the sound of the music and in the next part i will upload uh, in the next video i will i will upload the part 2 of this chapter but if you have liked this video kindly press the subscribe button press like button and share it as many uh, to as many people you can thank you